My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through two of the biggest new features in Adobe Connect 9.7. The first feature we'll look at is something that you'll notice whenever you log into Adobe Connect Central, the web interface for Adobe Connect. I'm looking at the old version of Adobe Connect Central here on a 9.6 account. You'll notice that I've got access to my meetings, my training, as well as a training catalog. This is a Flash-based object, though, so it requires that you have Flash. If we take a look at the new 9.7 designed version of this same screen, you'll notice a complete redesign done completely in HTML so that Flash is not required, as well as some new features that we've added to make finding your content easier than ever. We've got similar tabs up at the top to help you access your information. So I can see a list of all of my meetings. I've got access to my training, as well as a training catalog. We've got a brand new tab, though, for recordings that we'll look at in just a second. In addition to these tabs, I've also got a blue button in the top right-hand corner that enables me to quickly create content on the Adobe Connect server, whether that's a meeting, some content I want to upload, a learning object, or an event. Let's take a look at some of these new tabs here, starting with my meetings. This shows me all of the different meetings that I've got access to, and I can filter it viewing all meetings or those meetings to which I'm set as a host, a presenter, or a participant. I can hover over any one of these meetings, and I've got three quick access buttons. I can use these buttons to show some information about a particular meeting. I can launch into editing mode for a specific meeting, or I can open the meeting itself by clicking on the open button. The next tab is the My Recordings tab. We believe this is gonna make finding and accessing your recordings easier than ever. Again, we've got some additional options to filter all of these recordings. So I'm looking at all of the recordings that I've got access to here, but if I want, I can filter this to just show me the recordings that I've created or those recordings that have been shared with me. I can also use the search box to filter recordings. So if I type in my name here, it filters down all that entire list of recordings to just those that match my search term. On the My Training tab, we've got some details about all of the different training objects that I've been enrolled in. I can choose whether to show all of that detail or not. I can also now filter this training tab. If I don't want to see any of the courses that I haven't taken, I can turn that off and my view is refreshed just to show me the courses and curriculums that I have taken. The training catalog also enables me to access all of the different content that I've got the ability to enroll in. And once again, we can use the information button to quickly view a course. If I'm not enrolled in a specific course, I've got access to enroll in it through the open enrollment process. If that enrollment doesn't require training manager approval, then I'll automatically be enrolled and I can access the content immediately. So that's a look at the revised web interface for Adobe Connect Central, the revised homepage. The second new feature that we're very excited about is a brand new application that replaces the Adobe Connect add-in. That application is installed in the same way that the add-in has been installed in the past. In other words, when you go to an Adobe Connect room and try to share your screen, we'll use the Lightning install process to automatically install the application onto your desktop. That doesn't require administrative privileges. But we've also now got new installers for both PC as well as the Mac and a brand new MSI installer for Windows that makes it easy for an IT organization to deploy the Adobe Connect application throughout the organization. I'm going to move over to my Finder window here. So you'll notice that once it's installed, you'll have a new folder in your applications directory. If you click on that, you'll see the Adobe Connect application. Now, you don't need to launch this. You can simply navigate to an Adobe Connect room in your browser, as you always have, and it will automatically launch that Adobe Connect room using the new application. But now with Adobe Connect 9.7, you've got the ability to launch the application separately. And this will launch a brand new window with a new interface that allows me to type in the URL of a specific meeting. And I don't need to add the protocol here. I can just add the name of the room. But I've also got access to any of my recently used meeting rooms. So I can access a recently used meeting room simply by hovering over it and clicking the open button to launch it. 
I can also add it to my favorites. And I've got a list here of all of the different favorite meeting rooms that I'd like to be able to quickly access at any time, whether I've recently used them or not. Once inside of the application, we can click the open button and that will open up the Adobe Connect meeting room, enabling me to log in and access the room itself. Those are two of the biggest new features in Adobe Connect 9.7, revamped homepage in Adobe Connect Central, as well as a brand new application, making it easier than ever to access your Adobe Connect rooms. We hope you love it as much as we do. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.